To do this, we calculate a survival factor called the subdivision index, A. This is the sum of the likelihood or probability of different damage scenarios, P, multiplied by how likely the ship will survive that damage or the survivability, S. To know if a ship will be safe after a collision, we need to work out the probability and survivability of every part of the ship that could potentially get damaged. For instance, a longer compartment has a higher chance of being hit in a collision just because it's a bigger target. On ships with double hulls, which we talked about in a previous video, the outer compartments are more exposed than the inner ones, making them more likely to get hit. Plus, statistical data shows that damage from collisions usually happens more at the front and bottom of the ship, so those spots get higher P factors. To go through everything these calculations have to consider would take a lot more time than we have in this video. But you get the idea. The probabilistic approach is a more realistic and thorough method compared to the deterministic approach, but the downside is the massive number of calculations needed to cover all possible scenarios. In the past, this was a major challenge, not only because of limited computational tools, but also because many naval architects weren't familiar with probabilistic concepts.